Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you need to set up your reports for your clients. Um, it's going to be, it, it's easy to do, it just takes a little bit of time. I created this little doc to show you your steps. So first off, how do you create your Google Docs report? First thing you're going to want to do is go over and create a Gmail account or you can use one of their existing ones. The problem with Data360 is we're not able to duplicate multiple, multiple reports so you can only do a five of them so you have to create a gmail account and this is kind of a workaround until they switch it out so very first thing create a gmail account or use one of their existing ones you need to make, you need to make them an admin on their google analytics account three you need to go to your the marketing high data 360 report and add all of their emails add their email address into it okay and that's the one you created then you can log into your Data360 account, make a copy of each report, and add their data. Unshare, you've you just shared all Marketing High reports. Well, I don't want all of them on Marketing High reports, so you now need to go back and unshare with them because they're going to have their own. Then you're going to link up your reports to the Marketing High client report. Then you're going to double check everything, and then at that time, you can share that report with anyone in their company. Okay, so those are the steps. I'm going to walk you through them. First thing you want to do is jump over here and create an account. I'm going to hook up Mangle Voice Reports. I name this account Mangle Voice Report. Okay, so what I like to do is here is the Marketing High Report template. Every one of you guys have this. So I go here, I'm going to make a copy. Mango Voice reports okay it goes under my clients mango voice select okay now I can share it with people at this time if I want but I'm not gonna do that yet okay so here's my report just so the client has it I like to go here to the top and I put their mango voice report at gmail.com that that way that way they know their email access now I can share it with any of their other emails if I want but I'm gonna do that now like I said here is where all reports need to be done Every single week re report needs to go to go through this report, okay? So instead of sending out an email with everything, what I want you to do is put the date, what you did, what you're going to do next week, and then this keeps going down. So at any time, that client can jump onto this report and check the progress. Got it? Okay, and then what we're going to do is link up these three reports. So first thing you need to do is jump into your analytics account. You're going to sign in. Okay, I'm going to go down to Mango Voice. Now why you want to share this with them is because they need to be able to load this data. So I need to go in here and Oops. Sorry. What have they done to our reports? down here this is new so here's where the admin button is now it's down here at the bottom left okay that just changed then I'm gonna go to user management add permission mingo voice reports at gmail.com add okay now they have access to my 
to the analytics account. And like I said, you have to give them access to all their accounts so that then they're able to go in there and pull the data, grab the information necessary to build out the reports. Now you're going to go in here to this account. This is their AdWords account. Go to Tools. Just teasing, you're going to go over here to Settings, Account Settings. linked accounts account access i'm going to add user mango voice reports doc at gmail and i'm going to give him full access okay now an, an email went out to him so what you have to do is jump over here to their email click here to accept the invitation good now they have access I'm not gonna do YouTube right now but I just want to show you normally you'd go in there and give them access to YouTube so once you've given them access, now what you have to do is jump on to our three reports. So log in under our typical, the marketing high one, go over here to your drive. And you need to go to your marketing high 360. I'll just, I'll just click over here. It's in analytics. So as long as you're logged in under us, you go to analytics and go to data studio. You're then going to share these reports with them. Okay. So you're going to click here. You're going to share. Now, why you have to do this, Mango Voice Reports. Okay, you have to do this so that they can get access to them on their side. So I'm going to do all of these reports. Not doing YouTube right now. They don't have it, so I'm just going to do the analytics report and the PPC report. Now, what you have to do is log in under their name. Right now, I'm under my analytics. So now you need to go back. Let's open up a tag here. Actually, just so I don't confuse anyone, let's close out of all these reports. So now that I've done all my sharing, now I need to jump into their account. So add an account. We're going to go into their Mango Voice Analytics account. Just It's the same email you set up from the get-go. Okay. Then up here, you're going to see Data Studio. And do you notice how it kicked? It did not go under the right. I have to switch users. All right. Now, this is the right one. So now I'm under Mango Voice. Now what you have to do is open up this report. You are going to make a copy make a copy of this report accept okay now what happens is this report if I refresh See that? That did not happen, so I need to do it again.
So I need to open up this report. File, make a copy. Okay, now it's gonna ask you the data. Where do you want this data source to come from? I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go to AdWords. Now remember I shared this AdWords account with them. So now I can connect that report. I go add to report, create report. Got it. Okay, here is my new report for Mango Voice. There's nothing here, they just barely started, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave it. Mango Voice Marketing High. Okay. Now you can share this. If you want to share this back with um, yourself, you can now do so, or you can share it with the Marketing High account. Okay. So let's go back to. I want to get rid of that. Okay. Now we can close it out. And go back into Data Studio. You've now done it to one report. Now you have to do it to another report. So here's your crap. Keep this out. So we need to go back into our Mango Voice one. Okay. So here's your Mango Voice Marketing High report. Now you need to do the same thing with Analytics report. You're going to click here, open it up. Go here to file. You're going to go to make a copy. It's going to ask you the data source. Well, you're going to create a new data source. Go to Google Analytics. You're going to authorize it. You're going to allow it. Then you're going to link up the Google Analytics account. Connect. Okay, all that looks good. Add to report. Create report. Now it's going to say copy. Now what I want you to do is just put the company name here. Mango Voice Marketing High Analytics Report. Okay, and you can see this company just started. You can see their data here. It's all coming in. Conversions, eight, and all this stuff will be collected over time. Like I said, this is a new account. Okay? So that is good. Now you can share this report with anyone in their company. So now that you have this ready, I can go, okay, um, David McBride, I think it's davidmcbride at gmail.com. And you have to share it. If you want to give them access, if they don't want to go through their Gmail account that's set up, that you set up for them, and they actually want access to it, you can add them all here. So if they have five people in their company, you want to share it with them so that everyone in that company has access to this report. Got it? Now what you have to do, once you have it all set up, we're going to go back into Data360. Okay. This is our account. So see how it logged me back into ours? Now what I need to do, I don't like them having access to our reports, so you go in here and you take them off of ours. Okay. Take Mango Voice off. Now when I go under their account, this is what you'll see. It's gonna take a sec.
and you remove. Got it? So now they have their two reports in here and last step is you grab this, re this link, you go over into your Google Docs, your, your normal report. So I'm now going to go into my drive. Here's my Mango Voice report. Over here, I'm gonna now link it up. So you're gonna highlight this, and you're gonna click this link, and you're gonna put the new, you're gonna put access to these reports here. So the analytics report, click here. You're gonna share. get the link I'm gonna allow him to edit grab that link go over here and change it apply I'm just gonna double check that I did that right on this one so got it done we're gonna do this one again share get the link, can edit, copy, go back over here to your report, highlight it, apply. Okay, now when you give them their reports, they can just click on these links and as long as they have access to the Data360 or you've shared that file with them, they can look at them. Okay, if this data file is not shared with them, so if they're not logged into the Mango Voice Gmail account or you haven't given it to their Gmail account that they're logged under, they cannot get access to these reports. Okay, so that is it. Now you can close it out and now from now on you just update your client with this Google Doc and at any time they can come over here and click on these reports I don't have a YouTube report up yet. So what I like to do here is I'm gonna unlink it. Just so they don't think that's a link. Got it? Um, okay, so if you have questions, remember those are the steps. Watch this video, you're probably gonna have to pause it. But like I said, it's pretty, it's just steps. That's all it is, it's a bunch of steps. But you can figure it out if you watch the video. Okay. Bye.